started a band because we didn't have any shows to watch because everybody was on tour, like our friends. We all like fast music, like fast punk rock. We said, okay, we can form a band, call it Not On Tour, have it for the summer and then break up. We wanted to write really short songs uh, and break up after a while. Then we said, okay, we can do like fast songs, write them like a minute, one minute song. Yeah, just like riffs. And... <laughs> then we stuck together, it's like nine years. Um, almost 10. Almost 10. We're now recording a new album. We're like thinking more about the videos we're going to do for that album and like trying to be more ahead of it because it's, it's important, like behind the scene of like how you put an album out. We were thinking about, okay, we can do a video like this for that song and like we try to take fo footage of like our lives and like the band, you know, so we can put maybe in the video. So it's like kind of a feeling of how the album worked. We, we like, started off with one video, we're gonna have many. That's the plan. We need someone. Can someone help us? With and you the make video? the video. You, you get the it. idea, <laughs> yes. you write it down, you get the people yes. to do that's it. That's why we here. Sometimes I take a picture, you know, it's like, hey, okay, let's take a picture. And yeah. every time I tell them, like, it's only me in the picture, like, you, like, it's always like you see that I take a picture, you know? <laughs> I'm very cooperative. I, like, he when takes, she says, let's take a okay. picture, I'm like, yeah, okay, but then, <laughs> We have like Mati, our guitar player, he's like, no, no, leave me alone, leave me yeah, alone. Yeah, he doesn't so, want to, and our drummer doesn't care. Yeah, so it's kind of difficult. It's pain nice, it's ass. pain in the ass. Nobody appreciates it. I like doing it in a way because I like the band. It's nice to yeah. communicate with yeah. your crowd and like around the world. A lot of people come, like write us from like South America or whatever, and we haven't been there yet. We went to yeah. Japan, fucking Japan, and I think it was only because of social media, because otherwise, these people probably wouldn't hear of us ever. And also a lot of this um, information, like videos and stuff, it's not ours. Like we didn't take the video, so we can't control it. It's nice because sometimes I check a band's live show because it's different than the album, you know, or you're like looking to see how are they live, but it doesn't change the way that if you're there, it's the whole thing. I, I think it's positive. I like seeing live videos of bands that I like, but there's nothing like seeing a live show, you know, the energy. It's something that doesn't go in a video or a picture. We want to do like an album of just an acoustic songs and like, because actually people ask us, ask us if it's online somewhere, live videos. We want to have that because it's, it's a different feel, but it's still the same songs and we like it. Yeah, an acoustic album. I think a few years ago, you started to see like more, more kids coming out of nowhere in a way. It's really nice to see it. We all yeah. grew up listening to Useless ID and I think they're a major reason for us to start bands. In your last work, uh, Jotam from Useless ID was the, the producer. Yeah. Right. It's really nice because he was talking to us and saying like that loves the songs. Before we he, sent him the demos. That's a good place to start because he doesn't want to change you, you know? He wants to keep what you have and like just that we like appreciate and also he's a friend, you know? So it's good to have this kind of environment that someone can say something and it's not, he's not part of the band in a way, but he also likes your music. He doesn't want it to sound like useless society, you know? That was very important for us because we don't want to change who we are. He was, he was really into making the song sound better. So put this there or this part is like, you don't need it, or you should add another chord here. Like really useful advices from a really yeah. good musician. Look at it and say what he feels about it. And, and I think it was good to have him. I have uh, another band, it's called Moom. And it's like more hardcore, hard violence, you can say. And I also do hip hop, like rap. Really? Yeah. <laughs> In the house. Yo, Simon yeah. The look up Simon Noon. <laughs> Shh, look yes. up Simon Noon. It's called Simon Noon. On Noon. YouTube. <laughs> It's in yeah. Hebrew right now. It's going to be like some in English in the future. He had a... Um, I had a, a few bands, but today it's just uh, not on tour. I wish I had another band. Yeah. <laughs> she has all this stuff going on and I yeah. just, you know, I just and sit at home me, and I wait for another tour. And he calls me, you want to do something like, hey, I'm busy. Yeah, Come I have on, other stuff going on. Like, don't be so, you know, clingy. Clinging, you know? We're friends. Yeah. The first tour we did there in Spain, it was like, um, like a DIY collective talking to us like we want to do this and they planned everything and then we meet them at the end it was like amazing and they really just, warm people just like we met our other half sometimes like amazing people it's all fake don't believe anything yeah we're not having fun at all <laughs> watch out we can't wait for this <laughs> yeah like, like seriously we're coming to get you they called and we're coming we're coming we pick up the phone the we red answered. phone we're like hey yeah i'm room. coming it's fine we're coming. we're coming it's fine thank you see you, you.